Hey folks, in today's video, we're trying out the Codex Arcana mod for Bellatro. In addition to several unique jokers, this mod adds alchemical cards, most of which provide a temporary strength boost while you're in a blind, adding some interesting new decision points within a run. I believe this is just for the blind or the, just for the blind or just for the round, I'm not sure. We'll see. Got spades, we could also just look for a 10. Uh, actually, probably just look for a singular diamond now would be the easiest thing. It was indeed the easiest thing. Some alchemical cards may become negative, so we're going to buy that. Just maybe not right now. Let's just go with the blue joker so that we can retain interest as well as get some um, immediate strength, whereas the fortune teller gives us better long-term setups. Got tens and sevens. We can look for a full house. Or we could go for the spade flush, which is probably more reliable. It's going to re... Ooh, that's a spade straight flush. This is otherwise going to require two hands. So we do want to get that voucher now. It's, like, bad for our econ and probably overall gameplay, but, like, play the new stuff, right? So I'm going to sell this. I'm also going to buy this pair of pants so that we can... <clears throat> survive a little bit longer. Let's keep the ace, pitch the floor, just look for two pair. Aces and sevens, get rid of the nine since it's debuffed. Kings and threes. All right, we've already got this to plus six. That's like way ahead of where the fortune teller would be. And that should give us a little bit of room to coast and open every alchemy pack we see. This one's negative. Return four discarded cards to the deck. Gain plus one hand. I don't know if I actually want that in most situations. We're not making that difficult to obtain a hand. So we're just trying to ramp the trousers for now. So I've got a flush. Uh, I could just play it for the sake of money. It's very likely to get me through the round. And then we'll just worry about the pants later. Okay, it didn't get me through. This will, though. Uh, I could have used this just for an extra dollar. It's definitely better. There's never any reason to sell the Aqua, that's for sure. I don't really like those together. Tens and jacks. Let's go ahead and use this. I think it's only for the current blind. But again, it at worst gives me a dollar. Yeah, we're back to four hands. <laughs> All right. Only one hand type. What do you think I've been doing? So we've got some very good, like, short-term and scaling strength going right now. I might need to use this extra discard. I don't. What I need... What I want to see now is more of the alchemical cards as well as, um, yeah. Buy this, buy this, alchemical jokers. We trigger the first alchemical card used each blind, and we generate alchemical cards every six hands played. Let's go ahead and snag this, just because it's fun. 
Immolate looking pretty good for money. Gets me at the interest cap. Probably will want to buy that eventually. So now we just want to play a bunch of hands to get more uh, alchemy cards. As well as uh, scale our two jokers. This is extra money for spending on alchemy cards. No repeat hand types is a little bit of a bummer. I don't think it's bad enough to reroll it, but I do want the rerolled voucher. I didn't need to buy it there though, so that was a bit of a mistake. So what we'll do is we'll just play a two pair and then a whole house most likely. Played 11 two pairs. Surely some of these give me money or something, right? Quicksilver, plus two hands for this blind. Plus two hand size. Draw four cards. Wait, that'll go kind of crazy with the chain reaction. Which will make it easy to make my like multiple hand types here. Okay, so here's the full house. Let's play that. We're also about to generate another alchemical card. Here's the uh, two pair. Plus two hand size for this blind. Uh, again, that's another one that's kind of nice to re-trigger with the chain reaction. We could use uh, Burn Joker to discard some two pairs. But let's just, like, not do that. <laughs> um, I think that Supernova probably gives us better long-term value. I think I do want to look for Uranus, though. Let's hit uh, Mercury first, then Uranus. I've got a straight. That doesn't impress me, though. Eights. How many kings? Still three. Yeah, queens were light on. Might need to use the extra discard. Nope. We're fine. What's this? Plus two consumable spot, gain times one molt for every consumable card held. What if we sell out of chain reaction and into this one? Wait, that pairs really well with the voucher that we got, right? Because some alchemical cards may become negative in addition to the like extra joker slots. Let's actually just sell out of the uh, supernova. Nah, supernova's kind of doing a lot. This generates us cards. This requires us to spend them. We want to hold, so let's do this. I guess we can play a full house. And just go next. I don't really need that spectral pack. All right, how close are we? Generate one in three. We don't have discards for the boss blind. Wow, oh, that's quite good. Uranus, you love to see it. Let's buy this and not necessarily use it right now because now it's times four molt. That's kind of silly. And I don't really need the money for anything. Two hands remaining. Okay, the problem now is this makes us a little bit too strong, so we're not, like, getting the ramping in. Sell this to get one alchemical card. Let's get out of the supernova. 
because that's boring. It's better than this, but it, it like contributes to us being a little bit too strong. Uh, sixes, nines. What? Are, where, where are my eights? Eights. All of these I have an abundance of, so let's just copy the uh, ace. Look into this for none of these, but I'll go ahead and use the the temperance again. I want to have more time in rounds to uh, ramp some stuff up. Oh, welcome, Chromer. Okay, this is about to pop. Well, hmm. we can sell this uh, nerd. So we find a new Joker that looks interesting. Buy some alchemy packs. I think we just take any negative. Return four discarded cards to the deck. We've seen that. Create a negative cop, negative eternal copy of one random Joker for one blind. Gain two tags. I'm gonna go with the negative one just so that we have a uh, more gooder for the uh, Catalyst Joker. That seems to be the mega juice right now. Um, upgrade the last played poker hand. Convert two selected cards to polychrome for one blind. This seems good. We've got seven or three remaining um, slots as well. We should also be checking Arcana and Spectral Packs just in case we find a Perkeo because that would uh, make this go crazy as well. I think we can roll here. We sell you. Oh, we got a negative. <laughs> Are we just going to collect every single one of the alchemy cards? Is that the new goal? Uh, I don't know if you need to uninstall the beta for the mods, but I did just to be safe, just because I'm sure it's untested on the new branch. Let's do that. Hit one of these. We get a new alchemy card. Bismuth, that's the one that creates polychrome. This is now at time seven. We are incredibly rich. Another negative. Return four discarded cards to deck. Draw four cards. Just take the negative. Is that times eight? Let's just molt up these fives. Well met. Kimzor, thank you for the prime. Appreciate that. Uranus is nice. Money, also nice. Let's go next. Decrease the level of played poker hand. Uh-oh. What if we just play a full house instead to avoid... Like, we don't get uh, square joker value, but we also you know, win the round without losing out on um, Uranus value. Okay, I think we're going to take the Hieroglyph, but I'm also just going to... Do we ever try to look for a second copy of Catalyst Joker? <laughs> nah. I am pretty exclusively looking for more of the new Jokers just so that we can see them. This gives me more time to set up the Bottled Buffoon to ramp these two, as well as pare down my deck. And just generate some more um, alchemy cards. Let's check here. Again, we want a Legendary for the sake of Perkeo. Look for Uranus. Oh my god. Uranus is huge, chat. Sometimes we play this. Die. The aces. I feel like we've also got some room where we can move out of Square Joker just because we have like leveled up the uh, two pair so much. It is kind of, it's like 1.75x, so it's pretty good still. I 
could strengthen my aces or my kings and king into an ace and 10 into a jack. That will make it more likely that I hit my two pair. Yeah, happy to hear that, Kimzor. Hope you're enjoying Bellatro as much as I have been. Let's go Hermit for more money. Roll down a little bit. We've still, again, got two slots there. We need two hands to generate another alchemy card. Imagine. You coward. Diamonds are debuffed. Uh, I don't think I... Well... I've got those molted fives. Let's kill the six instead. There we go. We actually made use of the alchemy card. But it's fine. This is still at time seven, and this will replace it eventually. We go here. So we want to use the Uranus. But hang on to the Saturn in here because it gives us times molts. Let's just hang on to those because it's funny. This is at times 10 now. Uh, this is actually about to pop, so we will probably need to sell out of probably the Neptune. Obviously not right now, but I've already done it. And this is still going to win the round. This is at 50, this is at 84. Money. Take a look at some enhanced cards. I think a red steel ace, or red seal ace. We don't really want queens. I think I skipped the rest though. That would be cool, but like, I kind of like, I don't need flat molt right now. I need more multiplicative options if we want to go late. It's basically like a better version of the pants short term. Let's kill a queen. Get two tags, nice. That's yet another negative. So that continues to give us like uh, space here. Look, we'll probably buy the devil and then just use it to get money. Let's go. Hero font, in case we do decide we need to get out of the square joker long term. Oh my god, please, please let this be a Perkeo. Get out of here, nerd. Oh! That's unreal. <laughs> okay, uh, we need a blueprint now and or a brainstorm. Which is kind of what we've been looking for anyway. Is that times 12? Another consumable slot. Feels amazing. What's this? Mars? Saturn, let's sell this. Use this. I don't mind the hung man. Definitely don't mind the death. Let's sell you. Buy this. Draw four cards. Shop as an uncommon joker, no thank you. We're looking for two very specific rare jokers. And also to continue filling up our uh, consumable slot. 
Okay, let's open this because this can have more negatives. Arsenic. Swap your hands and your discards. That's really interesting. Wait, it, it didn't fit, so it didn't... Oh, well. Even though it was a negative, it didn't go in there. So let's actually use the death and the hung man just so that we don't make that mistake again. And molt up these eights. And use this. Salt is two tags. We might use that eventually. Okay, let's skip for a rare joker. It's kind of bad for Perkeo, but it could be very good for Perkeo at the same time. Eventually, we will have to get out of the bottled buffoon, more than likely. Bummer. That's why I hate skipping for joker tags. Sometimes we play this, I suppose. What, seven? Six? That's not very good. Let's go Empress here. Sulfur is 10 free dollars, that's kind of nice. Let's see what this looks like. That's probably a pretty good hand. I guess we're just shifting gears to five of a kind of aces now. Unless we keep getting Uranus. No, no. Sell this, buy, and buy, just in case we make a copy of the Planet X. Also, there you go. I want the Empress still. Ho! Oh. Okay. Let's maybe start using the planets. Not the negative ones, though. This one stays. Let's use the planets. Because I do want them. Observatory would go crazy. Uh. We're a long ways off from that being relevant, just because we, like, we have too many non... Uh, I would... In general, I would... No, I would just disagree. <laughs> just because we don't quite have the setup required for it. We don't even have a telescope yet. I should have molted up that uh, Red Seal Ace. But we'll use it on the boss blind. There's Uranus again. Apparently, we're just not shifting out of uh, two pair mode. Although, maybe we are. I do have 11 aces in a 40 card deck. Use the hung man here. We're going to get a new. Um, Alchemy card. Yeah. Let's go ahead and use the devil this time around. I almost didn't play the two pair. Gain one discard. Let's take it endless. This is fun. We've got room to grow. Money, good. I mean, I guess we buy it. Probably do want to use the Empress in. Okay, well more of those. An 
an 80. Yeah, I think it's still just fine playing four. Double money is twice as good. Let's go DNA here. Oh my god, we hit. Get out of the... Five of the kind is 155 chips. And 15, 180. 64. I think we just get out of the square, man, for a long-term value. We do this, and this. And then double up the uh, Catalyst Joker long-term. But this really speeds up the uh, value on the Catalyst Joker. As well as works us towards that uh, five of a kind build that we're looking for. This is 19, so this is definitely better to double up. We can actually just get out of the... Uh, the pants eventually too. Just because we don't really need flat molt anymore if we're playing five of a kind. This is like offering like 275 molt. <laughs> uh, this. Let's see if we get more negatives off of this. We got two more negatives. Arsenic, swap your hands. I think I have the arsenic already. I don't know. I don't know if I can get repeat uh, options there. Talking buskin, no. No. Let's go next. Then we move this. Play this. It's still times for molt now, if no molt on cards. That is uh, not really true because this happens first, right? So this multiplies it by 22, the 15 by 22, which is a lot more than times four. And then this happens. So because it's additive and because of the order of the jokers, it's absolutely not doing times two molts, no matter how many molt cards we play. this first. See if we get money. Uh, we can strengthen these kings. And now they're aces. That's a negative. Just go next. All I, all I need is blueprint at this point. I want to discard first so that I'm actually using my hand size appropriately. Let's do... Let's get some lucky cards into the mix. They're probably worse than the molt cards, but it's more fun. Especially with the red seal. I also do think that I probably want to use the Planet X... For the sake of being able to off get it offered in shops and whatnot. Even though it is negative. Let's go with Phosphorus. That seems more likely to actually want to be used. Wait, what? Oh, it's because I have all the alchemy cards. 
And because alchemy cards can be negative, now I get offered negative jokers. Okay. It makes complete sense. Infinite Jimbo? Yeah. Why am I starting by suit? When have I ever cared about playing flushes? Let's move this. Hit here. Oh. Yeah. Here we go. Free plus four molt. Yeah, it's honestly just <laughs> a drop in the bucket. It's pretty meaningless compared to the scaling that our deck is doing. But it's funny. And it happens repeatedly. Okay, I think I have all the alchemy cards. There's the Planet X, that's why we used the one in our inventory. Okay, let's just do... Finish our discards first. Do this. Move this, then we go like so. This is that times 30 molt, and then... Another one at times 30. This will help me easily find, more easily find Blueprint, which is the last remaining thing that I'm looking for. Wait, I've played a flush five. Yeah, I guess I have, because a lot of my aces are spades. Hey, look who's back. Um, I don't have any alchemy cards to generate anymore, so your time has passed, buddy. I appreciate the work that you've done early, though. Okay, easy enough. We'll just stick to flush five now since that's where our red seals are. And then we can get the capacity to polychrome them because we have the um, spectral cards in tarot packs. Draculaic. I still need to get out of this pair of pants. Me, after a long day of work. Okay, we're actually hitting hard on the uh, flush five now. Blueprints. Blueprint. Oh, I didn't move the Brigado. Wow. Plain two pair. Not interested in doing that anyway. A hologram would also be kind of nice, just as like a secondary option with the. Uh... Let's move this before I forget again. Show deck. Yeah, it looks like this. Seed money, probably pretty good. That said, we are on anti-12. Four, five, this is at 37. Oh, I hit the money there. We're nowhere near. I needed to roll harder. Okay, there's one that makes cards polychrome in here somewhere.
bismuth. What if we do uh, this? It's not going to make a big difference. But they are red seal at least. Also, I've got another copy of it. Good, not great. Okay, we got through the blind. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I have more copies of Bismuth, though, but maybe we'll find some alchemy packs. We do... Probably need to roll down now, though. So I'm barely getting there. And the pants aren't really doing much for me. have a lot of kings. I can turn them into aces. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like antagonistic with what our deck is doing, but the family is probably okay. Salt? Do I have any more bismuth in here? Yep, there it is. Okay. Two more. Wait, two more bismuth. That might get us through. I wonder if we can e even, like, afford to use the DNA anymore. Maybe that should have actually been the thing to go. Let's see our, how it changes after getting the uh, times four from the. Uh... It's a little bit better. Uh, we should probably just go ahead and use a bismuth, though. Should at least get us through the ante, but then we're kind of boned on the upcoming round. Cryptid? Can I use this right now? No, it has to be in the round, unfortunately. Should roll down to get out of DNA, though. That's just not a realistic possibility. Flat Molt isn't terribly helpful. Great, but it's something. Okay, this is better. Okay, this this is gone. Any other bismuth? Does not look like it. So let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. And then actually just go ahead and hit one of these, since this is very nearly certainly our last round. Let's see if we can get it done in one hand. Seven billion. Um, I mean, if we can get some more bismuth, maybe we get there. Hey Ruffle, Hi. it's really cool that you're showing your audience how to do alchemy. Quick question, I tried following along and accidentally evaporated my brother and two of my limbs, please advise. Uh, it's just the cost of doing business, I, I mean, part of going into alchemy is getting good insurance, I don't know what to tell you. 
All right, I do still probably have to roll down a bit here because what is what are the blinds? Oh, right, we can't look on this patch. I haven't seen an alchemy pack in quite a while, which is kind of rough because now we are 47. Yeah, I was never making that. <laughs> Especially without my bismuth. Oh, also, especially without moving the Joker in the right spot. I'm gonna be honest, I've completely checked out on this run already because we're so far off. 310 million is not nearly close enough. Like, honestly, the uh, steel ace isn't, or eight isn't even really doing that much, but. I don't know. Alright, that was fun. Highly recommend that mod. 